Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Poly Matrix. So this is a short video today, I think, and it's uh, it's just something I learned about recently is this new-ish version of Windows 11 called Tiny 11, which is supposed to strip out pretty much all of the bloatware and anything that's just really not consequential or, or anything that might be privacy invasive within Windows 11. And so it's a very small Windows installation. It runs inside of two gigabytes of RAM, which is pretty much crazy nowadays for Windows. As a result, I decided to do some quick battery tests just to see if removing all of the bloatware and spyware and all of that kind of stuff from Windows would improve battery life. Theoretically, if it's not running any additional processes in the background, then we're in a better position, right? So the results are interesting. Now, I want to say this is not a conclusive test. I didn't test every single thing in the world. I just wanted to get an idea, get a feel for what our absolute highs and minimums would be uh, on the system, depending on how we were using it. So the first thing I did was set the system to high performance mode and left it at the desktop with maximum screen brightness. I wasn't running any kind of apps in the background, didn't install anything additional onto the system, and I did this for both Tiny11 and Windows 11. Next, I repeated the same test, but on power efficiency mode, and then once the system battery ran out, I recharged the laptop, unplugged the power cord again, and just ran a YouTube, uh, one of those live streaming music channels on YouTube on repeat until the battery ran out. So, um... The results that I got are pretty interesting. Okay, just so that we are all looking at the same thing here. So this is going to be total runtime in hours, minutes, and seconds. So uh, I did, again, power efficiency mode, high performance mode, did it running a YouTube video for one of the live music channels that runs 24-7, and left it on as I uh, just went to bed or went to work that day. And I also let it sit at the desktop. What I find most interesting about this that confuses me, and I reran these tests and got roughly the same numbers, is that Windows 11 has better battery life in everywhere except the high performance sitting at the desktop, which this here we would say is a wash. We say this is within margin of error. But everything else has such a huge gap. I mean, this is almost an hour difference here. Uh, this is more than an hour difference here. This is almost an hour difference here. It's very confusing. Um, an interesting thing to note that the power efficiency YouTube difference in terms of minutes is almost identical to here. You know, 58 minus 1 is 57. You have 17 minus 14 would be 3, so subtract 3 from 60 and you get 57. So it's very strange run times. <laughs> I, would, I would have thought for sure with all the additional bloatware and spyware that's running in the background of Windows 11 that certainly that's that, that the battery would be running down faster if none of that spyware existed. But I guess I'm wrong. Uh, so I'm, I'm curious if there's something I've missed. I'm not saying that this is perfect methodology, so there could be a lot to that I'm learning here, but I did, I was, I was pretty, I think I was pretty, uh, pretty meticulous in how I documented everything here. I redid the thermal paste before I did any of the testing on this. This laptop is now three and a half years old. Um, and I, I ran the, the events out to event log on Windows, which is available for both Tiny11 and Windows. And basically when the system said that its kernel power turned off, so it lost power due to the kernel, um, which is called a kernel power incident, but it just says the system turned off, uh, is a Item is 6008. I looked at the time difference, and that's how I came up with um, these timings here. So um, I looked at the battery usage. Um, the If there is a difference uh, between the two, so I didn't run identical, is that I was using Firefox for the YouTube playback. So perhaps that explains the rather massive, well, I mean, not... Not really, it's not a huge difference here in terms of, I mean, there's a huge difference in terms of, you know, Microsoft Edge against Firefox, maybe, 
in terms of the YouTube playback. Um, but there's not a huge difference between the two different runs of Tiny 11, either high performance or under power efficiency. So I wonder if that's the case. I wonder if rerunning these tests would make a difference um, for for which codecs are being used. I wonder if Edge has a more efficient codec. That's something to consider. Maybe maybe I'd rerun it with using Brave, which is Chromium based, just like Edge is. So, um, but yeah, it was it was pretty meticulous to install Tiny Eleven, turn off battery saver, so on and so forth. Um, that's actually not that that's what I did with Windows Eleven. I tried Microsoft Edge here. Uh, I also did not have a Microsoft uh, account set up in Tiny Eleven. It doesn't require it, so I didn't set one up. Uh, you can install Firefox from the Microsoft Store without an account. Um, and this is also, I ran it with the February 2023 beta ISO. There is an R1 ISO that's out, so I'm guessing that's release candidate one or release one uh, that I plan on doing this for as well. And uh, this is just a little note for me to remind you that I am also doing my long-term Pixel 6 review. I know I'm a little late to the party on that, uh, but that is coming in a future video. Um, but the Pixel 6 has currently got a, a zero-day exploit out for the Exynos modem that's in it. So I'll be switching back to the iPhone for just a little bit of time until that gets corrected. Uh, but I am working on the review for that. So anyway, this is the chart that I made um, with the start times, the stop times, did the math to get the difference, uh, and went from there. So with that being said, hopefully... This is interesting. Um, might tighten up my methodology and revisit this, trying Edge, uh, Tiny11 with Edge, just to see if that makes any kind of difference. Um, that's the wrong one. There we go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So thanks for watching, everyone. I look forward to um, seeing you all and talking to you all again soon. All right, bye-bye now.